adding 10 to a three-digit number. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning how to add 10 to a three-digit number. Let's remember, a three-digit number is made up of hundreds, tens, and ones. So this number would be 238. You already know how to count by tens, but sometimes it is hard to remember. Practice makes perfect. So let's practice again to help our brain remember. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Can you remember how we count by tens when we start at a number like three? Well, here's three ones. Think what number will it be if we add a tens rod to that? 13, right? See, we added a 10. 10 plus three is 13. So if we add another 10, what is it gonna be? 23. And if we add another 10, 33. And if we add another 10, 43. And another 10, 53. And another 10, 63, 73, 83, 93. You get the idea. We're not adding any ones. We're only adding a tens rod every time. So the ones, the number in the ones place stays the same. The only number that changes is the number in the tens place. See, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So the only number that changed was in the tens place because we kept adding a 10 to it. Can you remember how we count by tens when we start at a number like 104? Here's 104. You can see there's no tens. So if we add a 10 to it, what number is it gonna be? 114, right? And if we add another tens rod, what number is it gonna be? 124, right? We're just adding tens. We're not adding hundreds or ones. So the number in the hundreds place and the number in the ones place are gonna stay the same. But the number in the tens place is going to change because we keep adding 10, right? What's gonna come next? If we add another 10, Right, 134, 144, 154, 164, 174, 184. See, the number that changed was in the tens place because we were counting by tens. The hundreds and the ones stayed the same. So it was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 194. Good job. Let's try again. This time we're gonna get rid of the base 10 blocks. Here we have the number 127. Think to yourself, the two is in the tens place, that's 20. If you added another 10, or if you're counting by tens, it's gonna, the next one's gonna be 30, right? 20 and then 30, so 137, 147, 157, 167, 177, 187, 197. Okay, well, skip counting might not be easy for you yet, I promise you're going to get it. But let me show you another way to add 10 to a three digit number. So here we have the number 263. What is 263 plus 10? Picture it in your brain. Picture yourself having two hundreds, six tens, and three ones. And then you're going to add 10. 263 plus 10 equals 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
71, 72, 73, 273. In a couple of days, we will be using the algorithm to add three-digit numbers. Let me show you how to add 10 to a three-digit number using the algorithm. Here we have the number 263 plus 10. Okay. When we're adding three-digit numbers, we always start, start, start on the right in our ones place. So we're going to add 3 plus 0 equals 3. Then we're going to move to our tens place, and we're going to add six tens plus one ten, which is seven tens. Then we're going to move to our hundreds place, and we're going to add two hundreds plus zero hundreds is two hundreds. So 263 plus 10 is 273. We can also picture money to help us add 10. Money, 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 money. So here we have 542. What is 542 plus 10? Picture it in your brain. 542 plus 10 equals what? Here's 542 plus 10. Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. So 542 plus 10 is 552. Let's use the algorithm. So here we have 542 plus 10. We're going to start, start, start on the right in our ones place, 2 plus 0 equals two, four tens plus one ten equals five tens. And then we're gonna move to our hundreds and five hundreds plus zero hundreds is five hundreds. So 542 plus 10 is 552. Hey, did you notice that? When we add 10, the only number that changes is the number in the tens place. Watch. Here's 345 plus 10. Okay, five plus zero is five. That's the same number. Four plus one is five. That's different. And three hundreds plus zero hundreds is three. That's the same number. See, three didn't change, the five didn't change, but the number in the tens place changed. Why? Well, it changed because these other numbers are added to zeros, right? But when you add one ten, it's going to change the number in the tens place. The number in the tens place is the number that changes when you add tens. Let's practice. I'm go ahead and unmute and yell out the answer to the problem. 127 plus 10 is 137. 236 plus 10 is 246. 358 plus 10 368. 481 plus 10, 491. 517 plus 10, 527. 643 plus 10, 653. 750 plus 10, 760. 811 plus 10, 821. All right, now you try. Here is a deck and there are 30 cards in this deck. I know you guys are gonna zoom right through them. You are amazing. You guys have a great day.